Hey, what's up, guys? I'm your second favorite PE teacher, Denver. Fortnite brought us a lot of new and exciting things throughout the years, right? Most of the time, though, some of your favorite items ended up getting chucked inside the vault forever. Now, some do come back that might be a good or a bad thing, but some of these you won't even remember or maybe even know about unless you are a really old Fortnite player. But hit like and check to see you're subscribed right now. And even let me know down in the comments what weapon you want to see come back to Fortnite once again. And we will try to get you in the video just like these viewers here but let's get started with the 10 weapons epic band forever number 10 the thermal scoped assault rifle now the thermal rifle was around for about five seasons but i feel like most of us have forgotten about it entirely that's because for the long time it was out it was never really that good it shot rather slowly was dreadful against builds and really acted more like a hit skin sniper than a rifle i mean you'd be better off running a burst rifle really at the time but boy i have to admit this gun had its moments my favorite way of using it was in season seven against all those pesky those flying planes everywhere hundreds of feet in the air one moment the squad would be cruising carefree and the next you'd be completely shredding them from down below how because with the whole thermal aspect the players glowed and stuck out like sore thumbs in the sky which made it super easy to pop anyone from long distances and honestly i feel like if the thermal came back it would fit perfectly into this meta just think about it you could use it to beam players flying around in choppers or speeding away in boats and if they updated it maybe even use it to discover players hiding in bushes and cornfields think about it i think that kind of interaction would be amazing and could add a whole new dynamic to the game and just as a side note when i talk about weapons never being unbolted that doesn't include when they come back temporarily like for events or ltm so keep that in mind and number nine the storm scout sniper only lasting about a month in between season nine and season x the storm scout sniper was a bit of an anomaly right compared to the heavy and the bolt snipers it wasn't the best at dishing out big damage in fact it was pretty weak however it did have the ability to tell you where the next save zone location would spawn making it incredible for us players that love to play smart and plan our actions ahead of time and if they buff the damage so that it can one shot with a hit to the body i feel like storm scout would fit very well in this meta i'm not crazy just hear me out with the heavy sniper being the thing so many players seem to hate right now in this season what if epic brings back the storm scout because then it could lower the drop rate of the heavy snipers and still be something that players would want to carry as knowing where end game circle spawn gives a huge advantage i don't know just a thought what do you guys think tell me down in the comments number eight the combat shotgun and probably the most controversial weapon on this entire list and in all of fortnite the combat shotgun was well it was it was a little overpowered okay seriously the combat was pretty much the double pump meta brought back to life only slightly weaker you could fire 10 shots before you had to reload and it even reloaded two shells at a time but what pushed it to broken status was its range all other shotguns are only effective at really close distances right but the combat that could be used basically to shoot up to 20 meters away i guess you could even argue it wasn't broken but was more of a one gun fits all type of weapon either way a lot of the pros hated it for changing the shotgun meta too much and eventually epic vaulted it in season x number seven the light machine gun with light in the name you'd expect something without you know a lot of power behind it but no the lmg was the complete opposite it could hold 100 bullets did 25 damage per shot and was able to put the pressure down on your opponents like you wouldn't believe the downsides though were its accuracy and really really slow reload speed and because of that on release no one really considered it worth using but i think the moment that persuaded us was when during a tournament ninja showed just how capable it was now all that being said i don't think it'd be the right time for the lmg to make a comeback we've already got the minigun in the game and that's causing a whole lot of issues for some players so maybe another spammy weapon with a crazy amount of ammo wouldn't be that ideal number six the heavy shotgun now raise your hand if you remember the heavy shotgun if you didn't i don't blame you because this beast of a shoddy only existed in the early days of fortnite before getting vaulted later on in season seven why was the heavy shotgun so great to put it simply 
it deserved the name. You could land some very nasty shots with this thing and it shot a slug, which made it work at longer ranges than the pump or the tack could and it hit like a truck. Not too hard though and it did suffer from a slow fire rate to punish missed shots, which in my eyes, it made it very balanced. Now back in the day, the shotgun metal was stale with only two options available and I feel like since then, we're right back to the same spot. The shotgun meta is very stale with most players simply running a tack and trying to barrel stuff into your face every chance they get. Now bring back the heavy, maybe with a few tweaks and fights will start feeling a whole lot more unique. But no matter what you think, stick around guys because I'm sure you're going to recognize this next one and wait till the last one. Number five, the quad launcher. I've always been a fan of explosions and of course in all of existence, the quad launcher is my favorite. There was nothing quite like denying an opponent trying to crank on you over and over with this bad boy. And every now and then, you'd even sneak in a rocket or two and deal some nasty damage. Anytime you snuck up on your opponent and unleashed with the quad launcher, it would cause chaos. Nobody was ready to deal with this thing because I mean, who would be? It wasn't just one rocket like the RPG, but four in quick succession. If you didn't have a game plan or the building skills to like properly defend yourself, you were done. Was the quad launcher overpowered? Yeah, probably a little bit. The explosion radius was massive. You could shoot it a mile away. It decimated anything that stood in its way. But I feel like if they reintroduced it and lowered the damage just a bit, it could be a whole lot of fun again. Now, number four, the tactical AR. When this gun dropped back in season nine with the John Wick Bounty LTM, it blew my mind. The low bloom, the versatility, and the lasering it could do. This rifle was probably one of the most liked things we got that whole season. And as time went on, it only got better. People began really figuring out its potential, like how you could use it as both a rifle and an SMG, which let you open up a whole slot for something else. It made loadouts so different at a time when they were all pretty much the same, which is just one of the attributes that makes it great. And honestly, I never thought this weapon was anything other than perfect, not too weak, and not too strong both advantages and disadvantages to carrying one i'd love for it to get brought back one day maybe as like a side grade or something because i'm sure as you guys agree if you remember it was pretty awesome number three the hand cannon look i remember when the hand cannon came out way back at the start of season three it wasn't the most reliable thing in the world but once epic added first shot accuracy and gave it a few buffs oh my would i feel mighty holding one of these in my hands you could one tap players from crazy distances and every shot you hit felt super rewarding because of just how much precision was required for it which is rare in fortnite at one point when epic gave the hand cannon the ability to one shot all one and newly built like structures some started saying it was too op which i agree it was a little bit op so they nerfed it and after that i thought it ended up in the perfect spot really though for a pistol the hand can impact a serious punch it's an absolute icon in all video games and if you've ever seen your favorite pro or even someone like shroud use it you'll start to understand why it's such a sheer powerhouse of a weapon Number two, the infantry rifle. What started out as a peak shooter back in season seven eventually evolved into one of the most precise and feared weapons in Fortnite. It has a brief but kind of confusing history, so let me take you through this. When the infantry was first introduced, it wasn't hit scan, which means the bullets didn't shoot out, it just hit their target instantly. Instead, this thing fired projectiles that took a second to reach their destination, similar to how the sniper rifles work, but that made it way too challenging to use because even if you landed a shot, it didn't do a whole lot of damage. So eventually, Epic changed it to hit scan so that the bullets actually hit immediately where you shot and along with adding a purple and a gold they created a monstrous weapon that many ended up preferring even over a gold scar check it out in the hands of mongrel if you're not convinced oh my <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god someone needs to clip that oh my god, oh my god. And number one, we've got the Infinity Blade. That's right, we can't have this list without arguably the most broken weapon to get vaulted and never see the light of day again. <laughs> Compared to everything else on this list, the Infinity Blade was leagues more powerful. Only one would spawn on top of Polar Peak every match. And if you managed to snag it somehow, 
you turned into a literal god and were almost unstoppable. Here are some of the things it did. It doubled your health, it healed you passively, it increased your movement speed, and gave you hit points on every elimination. And oh, you could also leap towards enemies and destroy literally everything that stood in your way. If someone with this sword got in your face, there wouldn't even be a point in trying. You were just done. <laughs> all in all, the backlash from it being far too broken made Epic vault it after only four days of being out. And when they did, the terror was finally over. What a day of relief that was. So tell me in the comments below your favorite that you're just dying to see return from the vaulted weapons. And if you haven't yet, hit like on this video right now. Check to see that you're subscribed and turn those post notifications on right now so you don't miss another video ever again. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Love, Denver.